Here we go again for another Fallout 76 mission walkthrough. This time we're going to talk about reassembly required and later on about coming to fruition. Right after you finish early warnings, which you can see how to do if you don't know about it yet, you can just check the link above. As usual, you will have to listen to Abby for your first mission update, but I can tell you already that you will have to pick up a holotape that is in the main table. So you can head there and pick it up. It's a tape for Rose, which you will deliver to her in a later stage of this mission. Once you pick it up, you will receive a checkpoint. And your journey begins. You will get several objectives to upgrade Scorch beacons, or in this case, detectors. You will have to do one by one, and the locations are quite far off along the east side of the map, following the main road. If you are like me and you don't have any unveiled uh, teleport points around, you will have to walk a lot and you will most likely find mutants and beasts along the way. Be aware that most of them are quite strong in this part of the map, so either avoid engaging or be well prepared. Otherwise, you might end up dying. Other than that, it's very straightforward. You just have to go to the locations in your map and click on the beacons. It was a bit difficult to do this part, but I managed somehow. Uh, you can also find the scorched, um, I don't know what to call it, dragon, something like that. It expels some blue fire, radiation, I don't know, like, it hurts a lot. So if you see it and you're not high level, very high level, don't try to fight it or you're just going to perish. But basically you only have to follow the road and reach these points. It's very simple. And if you're wearing a power armor, then you can just jump off cliffs without worrying about fall damage and so on. Once you reach this last beacon, you can head back to the top of the world to talk to Rose. She will have plenty to tell you as usual, and for some reason I found helicopters and an airdrop going around the building. I even tried to check what's going on, I hopped on killing enemies around, but after 15 minutes I just gave up, I don't know. There was no event notice or anything, and nothing really seemed to happen. Something to explore in the future, I guess. So here's what I saw when I went outside at the top of the world. Anyway, moving on, we have to go back to Abby's bunker after talking to Rose. And you got a new mission, it's called Coming to Fruition. And the other one is now completed. It was pretty easy, huh? But things are about to get tough, so don't you worry. First step here is to get inside the bunker to the main room and to grab the master holotape from the desk. It's on the same exact place where you got Rose's tape. And we're going to have to use this tape on several terminals to extract information and the cockroaches are here again so don't forget to kill them. They're very annoying but on the other hand 
you can get some food out of them, so... Uh, I'll take it. The next location for this mission is at Harper's Ferry. You need to go to the armory. It's a locked um, space, but you already have the password because Abby gave you somehow. All you have to do is approach the terminal and use your holotape and everything will be unlocked for you. But before you should kill this scorched around. Don't forget to click R or whichever button you have to use your holotape. If you try to remote control without it, it's not going to work. So do not get stuck and use your master holotape. Just click armory access and you're good to go. Scenario two. Semi -ideal. Now for this part, I will leave most of the footage, so in case you get lost or you're not sure where to go or what to do, you can just follow everything I did and you will get there one way or the other. Keep in mind that there are um, strategically positioned towers inside turrets, so they will start firing at you even if you are outside of the buildings or really far away and with no possible um, gaps to shoot at them. The way in is not too intuitive, but it's on the right way through that door. This one, you open it, and then you go inside. At this point, I was wondering what the hell was shooting at me, and then I realized it was a turret from the other building. For this door, you need to access the terminal. But I just uh, killed this turret first for obvious reasons. For those wondering why my fire weapons are so pleb, I have been killing my melee weapons and, you know, perks for more damage and durability on melee weapons. I really like it in this game for some reason. And to be honest, I haven't really found a very decent fire weapon. I found a sniper rifle that did quite some damage when I was around 10, 15, but I'm level 25 now, so I had to, you know, discard it. It was too low level to do much. All right, so now you open the door and you can proceed. The way is up you will see these stairs. It's very narrow, but you can use them, even with the power suit. About to loot in this area, I didn't find anything interesting. There are several um, workbenches, so you can collect everything and scrap to save inventory if you wish. If not, you can just skip most things and keep going. Okay. Be careful with this fire trap in the floor. If you are too slow, you will get burned and you don't want that to happen. And there is another turret below us. So we have to fit in this gap here. These turrets are so, so evil. I, I don't know how is it shooting me through the floor, but... Normal doors in this game are so buggy, it's impressive. Oh, I forgot to say that the terminal is on the other side, so you can't really access it yet. 
So better go this way, destroy the turret, and then go up towards your objective. So you can you can go through the fence here. Even though the door is locked, you can go through. And then ahead, there is a terminal that you must hack, otherwise you can't reach the objective point. But the terminal is fairly easy, it's skill zero. So you can keep trying until you get it right, basically. It didn't take me long to do it. Just two tries. And there you go, you can open the door it, and you can access the terminal and the uh, hollow tape in the desk which it doesn't play for some reason so as usual you need to load the hollow tape i was just exploring checking what's in each entry because sometimes you get new missions if you do this but just Entry the master holotape for a mission update. Okay. Hopefully, my network predictions were successful, and you're legitimately triggering this next message. If not, I guess I'm speaking to no one, and none of this is going to matter. But you need to listen to Habby and wait for the mission update. But Next, you have to go downtown. She just said where you have to go. To be honest, I got a bit confused because I have quite some quests and I did not see the location at all. But it's right there in the middle. You need to head to the Charlatan main building. And I first thought it would be this door. Which you can actually access, but it's a bit tricky, so don't go there and kill all the mutants you find if they attack you. You have to go around to access the superior levels. So you go through here, and now on the right side, there is a surprise! You can enter the building, and there is a door to get inside. Now it's time for serious talk. Once you get inside, you're going to have to fight at least 20 mutants, very strong mutants. And things don't get pretty at all if you don't start killing them right away, because they will just group up and come all at once. I suggest you clean the place before you go around, because this is a little bit like a maze. There are many rooms, many creators, several levels, and there are also numerous terminals. So it's very easy to get lost and confused in here. I lost around one hour with this part. There was also a guy around and he was there forever. So this is not an easy part. But let's begin. So the first terminal is just a bit ahead. As you can see, I'm still at the very start. This one. You access it for a mission update. You try to enter security overrides, but you can't. The password is incorrect and we need to reset it. I tried to insert the um, holotape, but nothing happens either because this is not the right terminal so it's normal that it won't work there are several other terminals which it won't work because we need to access sam's terminal and not any other be aware that when you enter the building there are not so many mutants but as you start to explore the rooms you will start seeing more and more and at some point it might look like this, at least it looked for me. Look, they are all rushing towards me. 
from, you know, Oblivion. I don't know where they came from, to be honest. <laughs> I was just checking rooms and then... And then it's this! I don't even know how I survived. So be careful here. It's very easy to die and it's also very easy to level up if you're not too high. It's very good experience. Good for me, they just broke my power suit armor. They didn't kill me. And after I got all of them, you need to take the stairs and head to the bottom of the building, to the basement level. You will find a security terminal there and that's what you want to do. You want to access security and you want to reset the passwords so you can get a mission update. But first kill all of them. I hope I didn't scare you. So yeah, take the stairs head down, all the way down, until you can't anymore. And there are a bunch of rooms again. There is plenty of um, scrap here. There are some plants as well, so feel free to explore if you want. It's worth your time in this case. Here's another plan. But ultimately you want to get to the terminal. Which is right ahead. Right there in front. And it's time for some password resetting. Go to accounts and then click on Samuel Blackwall. As soon as you do this, you will get a mission update. And now they want you to load the master hello tape on his terminal. It took me a long while to find his terminal because there are so many rooms and there are at least two no there are at least three more terminals. I left this part of the footage so you can see this room. There is a terminal and there is a key there. Here. The terminal doesn't do anything. I tried all the options and nothing, but here is a key to a a stash which I never found, but it might be useful for some of you if you manage to find the stash so this is the keys location all right so to find sammy's terminal you need to be i think on the second level so you take the stairs it's it's the level that looks like this i'm sorry if i'm wrong but i don't remember anymore you go straight forward in this long corridor and then you will find this destroyed big um, center room you head to this set of rooms and the terminal is just on the left it is right here you access it and you log in with your reset password and there you go you can just load the master holotape and voila Initiate the program Pat yourself on the back, you just and get your files. Secret security codes off the US Senator's terminal. Next up, the closest relay tower you can find, where you get to upload all that hard earned data. While you listen to Abby, you should know that the next part is at a relay tower, which is filled with scorch. And it's... it's okay. It's not difficult. It's right in the middle of the map, in a forest. 
It's quite remote. We need to walk a little bit, but not too much. Be aware of the turrets. There are two of or three there. If you shoot them from afar though, they will not hit you. But the scorch will come to you. Needless to say, you need to clean the area before you can reach your objective point. It shouldn't take too long, there are not too many of them. But there is one or two that are quite strong. So remember that when you're fighting them. For example, this guy, he can take a lot of bullets. And I mean literally. Once you're done killing all the Scorch, you can head to the terminal. And do the same you have done so far. You load your allo tape and you're done. That's it. You will begin uploading all the files and you will receive a mission update to head back to Abby's bunker. So you head back and you kill the cockroaches again. It's almost a habit by now, right? Then you access the terminal and you click the boot. And Happy will thank you a lot. You're the best and you know, she will explain also some other things that I'm not sure if they are useful or not. And you only need to wait for your mission rewards. Because you're done. There's nothing else to do. At least for this mission. And funny enough, you will start your Brotherhood missions. It starts here. So in Fallout 76, everything when it's related to missions is very chain related. You need to do A to do B, you need to do C to do A. It's a bit tricky, but everything has its logic. And that's okay, it's Fallout and it has a lore after all, despite what many people say. And I think that's a positive thing. And after a minute or two of speech, you will unlock the fires has fallen, a new mission for the Brotherhood, and your coming to fruition is now completed. So that's going to be all for me. I am Marta Branco. I tried my best to make this sim as simple, but it's not so simple, especially the last part. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's very important for us. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!